Right, let's continue the story here. We are a shape changer. It's true that I don't remember who I am, but I can't change shapes. How can I be a shape changer? Shape changer. You've forgotten how, son. And you're missing your focus, your ring. You must travel to Slathani Patan to regain it. But that's not important now. What matters is that you're that a shape that as a shape changer you do have the power to save Lani. How? What must I do? All shape changers have the power to heal. For healing is nothing more than the power to shape a body back to its original form. The secret is your Atlan, your healing focus. I haven't got that. Must I go to Slatan before I can save her? Oh, but you do, my boy. That doll you carry, the one that looks like you, that is your Atlan. With it, you can heal Lani. Okay. Doll. Oh, heal and heal self. Heal Lani. Is it that simple? Closing your eyes, you concentrate on health and rightness, but there is almost no spark of life, no tangible spirit that you can hold on to to provide the energy necessary for healing. She is too weak for your powers to be effective. You must nourish her spirit with magic and with love. It's not working. She's too weak. She first must be strengthened with magic and with love. Only then may she be healed. What do you mean, magic and love? You need a magical way to strengthen her spirit. That will help. You also need, her, need to speak to her, whisper words of love to her, give her an interest in living. Remember, originality counts. So, what about the spirit bundle? That's something magical, right? The feathers make a hissing sound like leaves in the wind. You hear a sound as a faint chanting coming from the air around you and feel a renewed strength of spirit. Apparently the spirit bundle possesses magical healing properties. Okay. Now let's... Heal... Lani. Oh, magic and love. Talk to Lani. The slight flicker of her eyelid, as though somewhere within her shattered body and mind sleeps, but she cannot answer you, despite that you keep talking, hoping that something you say may stir her spirit. How thou soft. Thou art light. Love. Thou art love. Thou art light love yonder. Let me count the ways. And two and two ever are ah oh, that's junk. Let's try again. Thou art ah. Thou art a rose Yonder window Breaks No The No the ways Fair Bird Ever Is Ah not a puzzle thing. Let's talk to her again. I have to solve this. Thou art light. Thou art light through yonder window. Thou art light through yonder window. F 
for tis for tis the tis the ways one two three R Ugh I thought it was a good start Thou art light through yonder window Thou art light through yo through yonder window breaks count the ways one two three Grow Ack Come on How do I love How do I love thee? Let me count the ways one, two, three. Are look, I think that think that's wrong. Come on, soft no. Thou art light through yonder window breaks tis the no what How do how do I no <sighs> thou art thou art a rose but but let me count the ways ah no that's not it that's a st such a stupid line to say <sighs> thou art light through yonder window breaks No rose as fair did did ever grow. That the second part was nice. No rose as fair did ever grow. So let's though art thou art a rose yonder window for for no bird as fair did as fair did ever grow ah I'll uh I'll be back in a sec I'll figure this out and then I'll uh, record the results so I'll see you soon um let's do this first though I think you have to put this on her yeah. Faint, fair, faint voices before your eyes have bundled the disintegrate into fine powder, which swirls away in the tiny air currents of the cave. It's hard to be sure, but you swear a little color has come back to her face. And 
now we're gonna heal her. No, wait, we're gonna talk to her and get her home right. I think I got it now. Thou art a rose, but no. For no rose as fair did ever grow. Your words start out as recitation and change into something more, something from the heart. You'd swear now there's a little faint smile at the corners of Leanna's cheek. Okay, now we're gonna heal her with the doll. That's it. Closing your eyes, you concentrate on the health and rightness. You feel as though you were in in a canoe, rushing headlong downstream. Then Leanne groans and you sense an internal movement, bones re-knitting, torn flesh mending, blood finding its way back into the body. Health and vigor flood through you, both like a jolt of potent wine. What happened? Where am I? I'm alive! Thanks, Cal. And who are you, my man? To look at me that way. Heh, be thankful, young maiden. This is the man who saved your life in exchange for your sa in, in exchange for your saving his. I did not. I saved the king's life and fell from a mountain. I remember that much. That was me. I mean, I am the king. That is, I was. I. It's a good thing you weren't so tongue-tied when you spoke your love poem, young man, or she'd never have woken up. I remember I was in a dark place, floating. I heard a voice, very far away, speaking beautiful words of poetry. It brought me near. Then I felt a terrible pain and I woke up. That was you? That voice belongs to this young hero right here. He's a shape changer, and they have the power to heal, if they're willing to suffer a little pain themselves. He saved your life with his words and with his powers. Then I owe you a great debt of thanks. But what of the king? Is he here? Let me try to explain. That man you met, the one you thought was the king, that was me. I wasn't trying to lie to you, I was under a spell that gave me the looks and memories of the king. It was my life you saved. The sorcerer broke the spell, but I still remember everything, especially you. You charmer. You mean, that king wasn't the king? It was you? Ensorcelled? Hmm, so that means you're not married to the queen. No, I'm not married to anyone, as far as I know. That's interesting. How a person's perception can change from one minute to the next, that is. It must have been frightening for you. There's one thing I don't understand, though. How can a shape changer take the form and thoughts of another? My thought I always said that was a, that was a myth, a wife's tale. Shape changers can't change themselves to look like other people. Your father was right, but not completely. A shape changer by himself cannot cannot do those things, but with magical help he can. I must uh, confess something to you both. I am Nur Tom, the court wizard to the Kalaka Kalahags, and I was forced by the queen into casting the spell that gave this boy the king's looks and memories. You're the wizard? Why did you lie to me? Why did you do that to me? I was afraid for my life, young Schleithen. The king had refused his mother's plans, plan to substitute a changer to die at the sorcerer's hand, but she went ahead anyway, acting while the king slept. After doing the deed, I fled the castle to try to decide what to do. I came here to wait for you, wondering if I should expose the plan or let it go forward. You risked my life against the sorcerer. Why didn't you tell me? My loyalty is to the king, you know. I didn't want to abandon your quest and leave him to face the sorcerer, but I didn't want you to die either. I cast a crying spell to see the future and saw that you had a chance if you were clever and brave, so I let you go ahead. Well, thanks a lot. I could have been killed. Ah, oh, I have to continue this next time, guys. I'll see you in the next video.